Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today I'm doing another fun smoothie bowl smoothie recipe. Uh, it's very versatile. You can do it as a smoothie bowl or a smoothie. I'll put all the ingredients and directions in the description below. Uh, be sure to check out some of our other smoothie bowl recipes. They are really good and I love that you can uh, just add in all your extra healthy stuff to them and it's very filling, packed with protein, all that good stuff. So I am starting with, I've got a small banana here in my blender cup and I am going to put in a scoop here of Greek yogurt. Actually, that's quite a bit there. Maybe a fourth a cup to half a cup of Greek yogurt. And then I am going to add in um, some pineapple. Usually I will use like crushed pineapple. It blends a little bit better. This just happens to be what I have on hand. And I'm going to scoop out a few pineapple chunks. And I actually, I want the juice too. So I'm going to pour just a little bit of pineapple juice. It's so good for you. Okay, we got some pineapple in there. I'm going to put in um, a scoop of vanilla protein powder. Just got done with a four mile run and then walking the dogs. It's absolutely gorgeous here today. For the first day of March, I will take it. It's like 50 and sunny. And then we are going to put in some coconut water and I'm gonna add in about, because I use almond milk as well, I'm gonna do about a fourth cup. And then I'm going to do about a half a cup. Nah, it's more like a between a fourth and a half cup. Depends how thirsty you are, how much you want in your smoothie bowl. And we are gonna blend this together. Um, I also have some Bloom Coconut flavored greens that I'm going to add to this. Um, it's gonna turn it green though, which kind of defeats the whole point of it being coconut colored. So maybe I'll leave those out today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and blend this. I have no frozen fruit in this. If you would like to, you could freeze your banana or add some ice cubes or some crushed ice to make it a little bit thicker. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. All right, I've got her all blended. This smells so tropical coconutty. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here. I have a little bit of a cold sensitivity, so when I make my smoothie bowls, I don't make them super frozen. Feel free to make yours as thick um, with that frozen texture as you would like. And now I'm gonna grab my coconut and I also have some organic super seeds. It's like chia, flax seed, hemp seeds, teeny tiny seeds packed with some good stuff. And I'm actually gonna kind of just sprinkle it around the outside just a little bit. Then I've got some shredded coconut flakes. I'm gonna kinda just sprinkle those around the outside as well. Perfect. And I'm gonna put just a couple of raspberries in the middle for a little color. There we go, we have our tropical pina colada coconut smoothie bowl. Feel free to turn that into an actual smoothie if you would like. Thank you all so much. Be sure, again, to check out all of our other smoothie bowl recipes. Uh, I will link to those and we'll see y'all next time. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today, we are gonna do chipotle salmon power bowls. I am gonna make one for myself for a lunch today. And these are so good. We're actually gonna have these for dinner tonight. So I'm going to make the sauce, the chipotle sauce for the salmon. Um, I'm gonna put all of the ingredients and directions in the description below. And I'm gonna make the full batch size of sauce for our five uh, salmon fillets for dinner tonight. Um, so it's gonna look like a lot for my one little salmon right now. And we're actually gonna make these in the air fryer. I have done salmon before in the air fryer and it is so good. Um, I have a, 
I've got a honey a garlic a salmon recipe that I will link to and share with you guys. Also delicious. That's a bit of a sweeter one today. Ours is going to have a little bit of heat to it. Um, I am going to start by putting in about a teaspoon of minced garlic. And we are going to do um, about a tablespoon of adobe sauce. Depending on how much heat your family likes, you could add a little less, a little bit more. Um, I'm going to grab some honey, and we're going to do about a tablespoon of honey as well. I'm going to add in a dash of cumin here, uh, really about a half a teaspoon or so. going to kind of sprinkle that in. All right. And we're going to add a little pepper, a little salt. I'm going to grab some olive oil and do about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm just eyeballing it here, guys. It really doesn't take a whole lot for your salmon fillets to put a whole lot of flavor into them. And then we are going to do uh, the juice of one lemon. Or excuse me, one lime. We're doing the juice of one lime. These are kind of itty bitty little limes. So I'm going to probably use two. All right. And uh, while the salmon is in the air fryer, we are going to make our rice. I will share with you, rice is really just simple, a cup of water per cup of rice. Really you need only half a cup or one cup of rice per person, depends how much they like to eat. Giving this a nice mix. Okay, I am going to grab just a spoonful of this. It really doesn't take a whole lot. We're gonna rub it kind of in with the back of the spoon. I'm going to let this sit for just a minute or two. And we're gonna grab our rice. Go ahead and take my salmon here. And mine has the skin on the back. If yours has skin on the back, cook it. Um, if you're not gonna air fry it, you're gonna bake it probably or grill it. Cook it first and then the skin of the salmon should peel off pretty easily for you. I am going to do mine on the air fryer setting for probably four to five minutes. I'm gonna check it after about two and a half minutes. You wanna make sure it's thoroughly cooked, um, but every air fryer is different. So cook your salmon based on your air fryer. All right, so I have my bowl of rice. I diced up a green onion and put that in mine. Um, often I like to add like peas or some carrot cubes, um, whatever veggies you want to put into your rice, you totally can. Um, for dinner tonight, we are actually gonna slice up some avocado and put the avocado on top. Um, what I'm gonna do is I have one half of a little lemon or a little lime left and I'm gonna squeeze that juice over my rice. And then I have some uh, cucumber slices that I have diced up. I'm gonna sprinkle those around. And then I have some feta. Um, I actually have, it's tomato basil feta. So I'm gonna add that. I love cheese in a rice bowl. My kids prefer plain old cheddar cheese, but again, these are versatile, so you can do whatever you want to with them. And now we're gonna wait for the salmon and I'm gonna put the salmon on top. You can see I have my chipotle salmon. It is nice and cooked, it is hot, and I am gonna actually just kind of peel the salmon off from the skin. It's really easy to do. Take the salmon, we're just gonna plop it right there into our bowl. It's actually probably be easier with a knife. comes right off the skin. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. We have our Chipotle Salmon Power Rice Bowl. Super healthy, super delicious. Thank you all so much for watching this recipe. You can find the pin to save this recipe on Pinterest in the description below as well. Be sure to subscribe so you can be notified every time we have a new recipe uh, that we put up. Your family will love and enjoy. We'll see y'all next time. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today I'm doing a really quick, healthy, protein-packed, Power Bowl lunch. Um, it's got cottage cheese, raspberries, um, some dark chocolate with sea salt in it, super seeds, banana, super easy. It's very healthy and it, I feel like it's a pretty filling lunch. I'm going to start with my cottage cheese. I'm going to put all of the ingredients in the description below. And I'm actually pretty hungry today, so I'm doing a little more cottage cheese than normal, but normally I would do about half a cup to three-fourths cup of cottage cheese. And I have some banana slices. One of the fruits I really love with cottage cheese is mango. But today we're doing some raspberries and some bananas. I'm going to go ahead and just put these right on in. Power bowls are fun. You could do them with um, like meats, like chicken or salmon, some tuna. I have been traveling all weekend, y'all, eating out a little too much. So I am putting in a lot of the healthy stuff today. I really like to use super seeds in my smoothie bowls and my smoothies. Great way to get some extra protein and fiber in. I am just going to grab a pinch. It's probably about a tablespoon's worth, and I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'll end up mixing that all in here in just a minute. Unwrap my chocolate. Chocolate's optional, but I love chocolate. I got myself a sweet tooth. I will be sure to link to my lunch recipes playlist. Be sure to check it out because I am always busy and on-the-go mom, and so having easy, mostly healthy lunches that are quick and easy to put together or prepare the night before. Always great to have. All right, we have our cottage cheese power bowl. Super simple and easy. Thank you all so much for watching. I will have the pin in the description below so you can pin and save this recipe for later as well. See y'all next time. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today we are doing a delicious honey mustard chicken salad. It's got strawberries in it and some bacon and avocado, homemade honey mustard dressing. It is so good. It's one of our go-to regular recipes. I'm going to put all the ingredients and directions in the description below. Let's get started. I am going to start with my salad. Sometimes I like to use romaine. Um, I've been kind of more into a, a greens, blended greens kind of salad lately. So I have a bag of 50-50. It has spinach, baby lettuces, baby greens, uh, radicchio in it. We're going to just put this into our bowl. All right. And then we are going to do some diced onion. I have about... Um, oh, I don't know, maybe a fourth cup to a half third cup of diced green onions. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mix that in. And I'm going to put some shredded carrots in as well. Probably about a half cup or so of shredded carrots. Get those veggies mixed in. All right, we are going to add our chicken to our salad. And I am going to show you how I prepared my chicken here. We are doing honey mustard grilled chicken salads. Uh, and I am frying up. It's the day before I'm making the salads. And I am frying up the chicken. We're going to kind of sort of fry grill it up. Um, I have some garlic honey seasoning on the chicken. I'm going to do some sea salt and some pepper cook these thoroughly and get them that nice kind of grill mark through the skillet um, and then we will let them cool because we like cooled chicken in our salads. I'm 
letting the chicken get that nice caramelized brown coat to it. Should have had hubby grill these up in the smoker uh, over the weekend. I forgot to. We grilled some lime margarita shrimpies that were delicious. Uh, be sure to check out some of our other chicken dinner recipes, you guys. And so I have uh, cut it up. It has definitely been in the refrigerator overnight. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken on top. This is fully cooked chicken. Seasoned. Okay. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of corn. Some people are, think corn is a weird thing to add to fresh salad, but I think it adds nice flavor to it. Um, this was actually leftover corn. If you've got some fresh corn, like fresh off the cob, oh yes, wrong season for us for that here in the Midwest. Um, I have some avocado slices that I have sliced up. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put these in my salad. If you're going to add avocado, make sure you do it right before you serve your salad because if you try to add it and then store it in the fridge, again, your avocado is going to probably turn on you. Okay. And then I like to put strawberries in this honey mustard chicken salad. So I have sliced up some strawberries. I'm actually making some tea sandwiches as well today. So I have some strawberries for my salad and some for my tea sandwiches and I'm going to go ahead and put the strawberries over here just like so I believe every salad needs some cheese so I am going to use some feta crumbled up this is a tomato basil feta cheese Feta and strawberry goes so well together. This is definitely a fully loaded salad. This is a great uh, protein packed salad if you're just having salad for dinner and nothing else. I would not call this a side salad. I call this an actual meal salad. All right, I also have some bacon bits. If you want to use some fresh crumbled bacon, be sure to cook that up ahead of time. We're going to just put the bacon right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to work on our dressing. Let me grab a small bowl. Okay, and for our dressing, we are going to start with about a third cup of Dijon mustard. which is about a third, well, maybe about a fourth of a jar here. All right, we are gonna grab some olive oil and I'm gonna do four tablespoons of light olive oil. And then I'm going to grab some white wine vinegar. Uh, if you want to, you could use white balsamic vinegar. I'm just using white wine. And we are going to do about a tablespoon of this as well. I kind of call it a heaping tablespoon. I'm going to throw in a dash of pepper, dash of salt. All right, we're going to grab some honey. Again, it's honey mustard chicken salad. Gotta have the honey. And um, I do about a tablespoon or two of honey. Kind of depends on if you want to be a little more mustardy or a little more sweet. I aim for right in the middle. It's about a tablespoon. That's about a half. It's pretty good. Let's grab a spoon here. I'm gonna give this a nice mix. give it a taste test it's pretty 
mustardy, I'm going to go ahead and add in just a dash more of honey. All kind of depends on your Dijon mustard, the vinegar you're using. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm actually eating this for a late lunch today. Kids got kids activities all night tonight. So this is gonna fill me up. And then we've got leftovers tomorrow for lunches for hubby and I, and probably the day after. I'm gonna grab that bowl and we'll show you what this nice salad looks like. All right, so I have my salad here ready to go. I am going to kind of just drizzle a little bit of the dressing onto the salad. This dressing goes a long way, so you don't need a ton. I'm gonna give this a nice little toss. All right, there we have it. It looks delicious and amazing. Can't wait to eat it. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you are notified every time we have a new recipe up. I do several every week. And uh, be sure to check out our lunch playlist and our salad playlist as well because I have tons of healthy, easy salads for you to enjoy. We'll see y'all next time.